is a th almost about half of them. Chapter 11. The New Earl. This is him. <laughs> a face like that never changes. If anyone can get you an audience with the Earl, it's Sheriff Eustace. I hope Percy Hamley will show more understanding with us than he did with the people of Wigley. I'm concerned what kind of man Percy Hamley must have become to kill people for mere poaching. The word you're looking for is dick. He's Good become day, a dick. Sheriff. I must talk to the Earl. It's a legal matter of utmost urgency. Get in line, monk. Are they all waiting to see him? What did you expect on court day, monk? I fear this is going to take a while. I'll go look for Richard. Seeing that he's going into battle, he needs equipment. In the meantime, let's hope I can persuade the Earl to rethink this breach of our agreement. <laughs> Good I'll luck, talk to Meg about the sales of the Priory's wool as well. We will find a way to keep the cathedral's construction going, Philip, with or without the stone and timber they took from us. We must. Okay, Richard asked for money. Now where is he? Everyone seems to ignore him. Even the sheriff. Wonder why. Let's talk to the prophet. The end is upon us! But our Earl will lead us to salvation! Okay, he's obviously is that crazy. So? A hard hand for hard times! It will all make sense, you will see. No, he's talked himself into a rage. He certainly has. As it is written in the book of Matthew. Other merchants offer cloth and felt. Sell for higher prices, easier to transport. But fulling wool is tough will expensive. Lead our generation to an end. Hmm. Good quality. Eyes, the signs are My business partner in Shiring. I wouldn't be in this trade without her. Our food is rotting. Let's talk to Meg. Daylight robbery. We agreed on the price. Good to see you, Meg. I'm here to collect the money we've made so far. Um, excuse me. We're in the middle of something. What's the problem? Even you merchants have become thieves. What a rotten place this has become. He ordered the cartload of wool weeks ago. But now he refuses to pay the price we'd agreed upon. Be diplomatic. Let's think about why the prices are so high this year. So you can put more money into your pockets? Actually, the Earl has raised all fees. It costs more to pass the gate, to set up shop, to get a license, and to trade. I suppose. But the price is not as was agreed. Oh. Did you use a tally to record the price? But, uh, are you with the sheriff? Just who are you, woman? I am the owner of this business. Oh. Here's our half Aliena. Now, would you kindly hand me your part of the tally? Um, address the problem. There are more notches on our part. Two pieces, two different prices. Granted, adding notches to our part would have been much easier. Aha! Uh -huh. You're admitting it. Mm, but the area with missing notches is thinner than the rest. You're right. It looks like something was carved off. Wh what? Are you saying I'm a fraud? Look, times are hard for all of us. I, I won't report you to the sheriff. <laughs> this wool will not make enough cloth for all of my master's servants' clothes. Let alone all the shirts he wants for himself. Whoever pays servants and wants to wear many shirts should be able to pay the price for quality wool like this. Damn straight. Quality? Yes, but it is not high quality. Now that you mention it, I see it. I cannot pay that much money for bad wool like this. 
No, he's doubting the quality. Fine. Then let me prove the quality of my wool. <coughs> Just you try. Okay. Piece of the wool we're selling. Good quality. That's not the price we agreed on. It is what we agreed on. Maybe Both another of us. fleece on top. Three. You're Three. trying to rip me off. Just gonna Let get us away work out a compromise. Our valued customer would only dismiss them as my accomplices. Let's negotiate. First you say one thing, and then you say another. Is this how you treat all your customers? Nope. Okay, let's go find someone who will praise the wall. <laughs> I'll find an expert and prove it. I'm waiting. Okay. I'm taking my business elsewhere. Please, calm down. And a pig eat half of my crops. Daylight no, I'll oh, keep the wool. We agreed before. on the price. Damn taxes. That's not the uh, price we agreed on. Your family? It is what we agreed on. But oh, has the queue not moved? We stand like, but I'm sure the Earl will accept petitioners soon. I hope it's before the workers at Kingsbridge leave the construction site because I cannot pay them. I'll get your money. Poor man. Apathetic. My god, he reminds me of father. Let's leave the market and find an appraiser. How many of you have fallen from grace, seduced by hell's demon? Blacksmith, girl carrying meat. Flemish mark, merchants, it's a bread vendor. Let's check the uh, the Flemish merchants. They might have an appraiser. Aren't you tired of Christian art? Their sad faces and dull colors are always giving me a foul mood. Just like this town. I agree. I'd prefer to see lush paintings of the fine things in life. What if I show that? Excuse me, would you care to give me your opinion on the quality of this wool? Of course. Please, show us. Oh. How wonderfully soft. And what thorough scouring. There isn't a hint of dirt or grease. The fiber is exceptionally fine. And the color is even and light. Suitable for high quality garments. I'm glad you think so too. Would you be so kind as to confirm this to a customer of mine, should the need arise? Of course. Just send them our way. You With all it. these taxes and the shrinking markets, I wasn't sure whether <clears throat> visiting Shiring would still be worth it. But for that quality of wool, I'll say it is. Okay, back to the marketplace. Let's talk to him again. The wilting of First you say one thing, and then you say another. Is this how you treat all your customers? There are Flemish merchants just a few streets away. They were very interested in my wool. And they would be delighted to confirm its quality to you. Anyone can let their friends lie for them. Huh? Then I'll sell to the Flemish merchants. It is sad, but it seems we can't find an agreement. Keep your money, good man. We'll sell to somebody else. <laughs> I was made an offer by the Flemish merchants. But I declined. I'm a merchant with principles, and we promised the wool to you. They'll be delighted to hear the good news. No, 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 wait. Maybe we can negotiate. My master would not want me to leave here with empty hands. Let's push him further. Competing with foreigners and nobility is no trifle. They're relentless and have deep pockets. Aliena. But if you prefer to take your chances... No, no, wait. I'm taking the wall, all right. I don't want to ruin you. 
My master can afford it. He just doesn't want to. And he has a temper. God damn it. You show no mercy, do you? Well, you were kind of a grump. <laughs> a pleasure doing business with you. Hopefully enough to get us all out of trouble. Next time he'll buy elsewhere, I'm afraid. A good merchant always strives for a deal that feels like a victory for both sides. Remember that. We don't need customers like him, and we have our money. Yes, and you have my thanks. W one more thing. Could you try to get Ovid's Amores for me when you travel to Winchester? It's a book. Yes, I can ask Brother Theobald. Okay. His book collection is more comprehensive than the church would like. <laughs> then he'll be the right one to ask. Thank you. No problem at all. Yeah, give me that book. My father caught a cold. Get sick from worrying too much. I'm gonna give a coin to the beggar. No, this money isn't meant to be spent. I have people to support. Okay. Let's go find Richard. Carrying a hunk of meat. At her age, I only ran around for play. Let's talk to her. What are you carrying there? Not for sale. Or eating. Don't steal! Okay. Go away! Oh, I, I didn't mean to upset you. Oh. Let's talk to the blacksmith. Would you be free for a sales discussion later today? Ah, Lady Aliena. For you, I will always find time. I've heard business is slow. Not for me, it isn't. Plenty of knights need my services. These men have cleaned up well, I'd say. It suits me just fine that the Earl has swept the criminals off the streets. And those complaining about money and fees were never my customers or my friends. Okay, yeah, that's, uh... Bread looks old. Hard as bricks. Doesn't sell well. Let's talk to the bread vendor. Can I interest you in some horse bread? Is that the only kind you have here? It's the only one that hasn't gone green yet, I think. If you sell green bread, your customers will get sick and you'll get into trouble. What? Uh, are you with the sheriff? No, don't worry. But still, don't tell them to those guys. Excuse me, do you know if something happened in Shiring? I know we suffer because of the war, but the town never used to seem this grim and hopeless. No, oh, we wouldn't know. We are but pilgrims in search of God's miracles. And a saint who will heal my foot. And my eyes. Oh, this guy again. But yes. Shiring seems to hold no miracles these days. We heard the Earl is punishing his people for his own entertainment. I heard so too. There's St. George's Cathedral. There's the marketplace, which is where we were. The alley. Let's go to the alley. Tavern District. Drunkard. The town drunk. Gazes into the fire. More absent minded than usual. I don't have time to deal with drunks. Alright. How long have they been here? What are they waiting for? They seem lost in thought. I have to give money to my knight. Sir Alonso de Toledo. Some compare his swordplay to dance. A competent ally. Any new information on Maud's army, Sir Alonso? Brother of Gloucester will bring the Angevin. There are said to be a thousand men. But Stephen will bring more, and will be with him to lead the charge. 
does Robert of Gloucester have skilled men fighting for him? Damned if we know. <laughs> Victory and glory will be ours, one way or another. Simon. Sir Simon of Stapleford. He and Richard were fellow squires. I hear you will face Empress Maud's army, Sir Simmond. Oh, Simmond. We will do battle on the beautiful grounds of the illustrious Lincoln Castle. Don't say it like that. She'll think we're just going there for the landscape. Ah, but what a magnificent picture it makes. Let's talk to Richard next. Oh, just don't let yourself get distracted by the beauty, Sir Simmond. As you won't be there, I'm hopeful that I can focus on directing my blows at the enemy, my lady. <laughs> Richard, today we ride to Lincoln. Drinks are on me. Taverner! Another round for everyone! You're the best, Richard. It's Sir Richard. Nonsense. We're all brothers, right? It is Sir Richard. Oh. And here I thought you needed my money for new armor. Oh, I do. A knight is only as good as his equipment. Have you seen Alonzo's sword? Nope. With men-at-arms so well-equipped, how could I fight alongside King Stephen less well-equipped? And inferior arms may cost him his life. That's true. <laughs> Only the best for the best. You should be more responsible with our money. Hey, you should be more responsible with our money. I spend it on my reputation. What's more responsible than that? Armor. Swords. Uh, you are paying for other people's wine. Some of whom you don't even know. Knighthood is about more than fighting, Ali. It's a way of life. We fight together, we drink together, we die together. Right you are. To hell and back we go. To hell and back. Alonso, you make that sound like a bad thing. But you could spend our money a little more wisely. It's true. Do you want William Hamley to become Earl of Shiring or me? I'm fine with either. What kind of question is that? If we're lucky, then he will never return from the Holy Land. He already did. What? We ran into Robert of Gloucester's men. At first, I wasn't sure it was him. He wore the cloak of a crusader. No. No. Got off the top of my head it. a little bit. Please, have mercy. My God, please. Shh. Don't. Oh. And then King Stephen called out his name. William Hamley, join me. We ride. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to upset you. You what? This is not about you or me, Ali. Allowing the father of that monster to remain Earl would not only betray our father, it would mean betraying everyone. Yeah. William is a butcher, a filthy bastard without honor. Mind your tongue. You speak of the son of the Earl of Shiring. I am the son of the Earl. Sir Richard, your father went against our king and lost his title and his lands. You are not the heir to the title, not as things are now. What did you just say? Not oh, easy. You Richard. treacherous bastard! Calm down. Do you want to slaughter each other and help the enemy? <laughs> Accusing me of treason. You're most royal man at arms. Me or William, choose a goddamn side, Alonzo of Toledo. Come on, choose! Richard, come on. Maybe I can get them to stop quarreling. You disparage me for setting the truth. 
I've not a good way to prepare for a fight. Have I not? They should focus. The one with the An biggest mouth. Would solve this. I'm sorry. You see, there's nothing to it. I said nothing wrong. I'm just trying to keep you grounded. How dare you imply that William and his fat father have a right to my life? Do lands? they often fight like that? All the time. Ah, oh, they're both very proud. Give them a few days, they'll get tired. They don't have that long. Now, now okay, can't you just Richard. agree to disagree? I've collected our earnings, Please. Richard. Good. At least there's one person I can rely on. My sister. I can't believe this. Let's try to reconcile first. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go into war arguing like this. I asked for your money, not for your advice. Well, you are getting it. You have fixed your issues. Percy Hamley's title is a fact, not an opinion. It is not. He does not deserve Obviously, it. they have no idea how to settle a conflict this is without not about a fight. Who what? The king appointed him. You should come to terms with that fact. I doubt that would help. To what did you just say? Oh, no. Obviously, they have no idea. Yeah. I'm done talking to you. Huh. Very much here. No right thoughts enliven me while my stomach's hollow. You hear? <laughs> Fill us up. Nope. But you haven't had a right thought all day. <laughs> Maybe I'll be the next Earl then. <laughs> oh, that's awful. You despise me for saying the truth. Taverns used to be well visited. Man arms. One could barely find a seat. There were many the more patrons. How's business? Slow. Well, at least you still have your regulars. Even in bad times, people drink. Mm -hmm. The Earl of Shire has imposed new laws and taxes, and it makes times very bad for us. I'm just trying to keep you grounded. Rarely see wine outside a church. Taverns have few have rich patrons. Richard has developed a taste for it, too. The taverner makes money with each tankard he sells. Now, now, can't you just agree no, to disagree? No, but it's good to know that Please. I have it. Percy okay. Hamley's title is a fact, I'm not, not an thirsty. opinion. It is not. He does not deserve it. This is not about who says what. The king appointed it's him. So. What you did you just say? With that fact. Oh, just no. think of the battle you will have to fight together. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Do you gonna say something? Did the game freeze? Like, I legitimately can't get out of that. Alright. We gotta restart the game. Apparently it froze. They couldn't resolve their issues. Uh, hopefully it has saved. That will um, be all situated. Continue. I've always been your most royal man at arms. Have I not? The one with the biggest mouth, too. I'm just trying to keep you grounded. Okay. An apology would solve this. I'm I say. How dare you imply that Let's try we have collected our earnings have a right to my lands? I can't believe this. 
We need to reconcile I'm first. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go into war arguing like this. I asked for your money, not for your advice. Okay. Just think of the battle you will have to now, fight. Now, can't you just together. agree to disagree? Please. I'm thinking of my dignity. Oh, <sighs> okay. They were saying something. Percy Hamley's title is collected our earnings, Not Richard. on opinion. Good. At least there's one person I can rely on. My sister. <sighs> can't believe this. Nope, you need to reconcile. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go into war arguing like this. I asked for your money, not for your advice. It is not. He does not deserve it. Do they often f Ah, that give them a f they don't This is not about who this is what. Can't you the king appointed him. You should come to terms with that fact. I'm probably more lost than you. Okay, let's see how we can resolve this. What did you just say? He doesn't know what to do. Oh, no. I've collected our earnings, Richard. Well. Good. At least there's one person I can rely on. My sister. I can't believe this. Yeah, we're not giving you money until you're not being a dick. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go into war arguing like this. I ask for your money, not for your advice. I'm done talking to you. Huh. Very much, yeah. Okay, I'm gone. It's a bishop's castle. What little whaler can build. Philip told me about his plans. I don't cathedral. have any business in there now. Uh, let's talk to Philip. Or Meg. Let's see what Meg's got to say. But we are not lost. We must. Your wool may be of best quality, but that doesn't make up for this market. It used to be a place of fair trading once. This is definitely the last year I come here. All right, dude. You got nothing for me? Philip, what do you got for me? Oh, actually. Patience is a virtue. Philip, do you know how to settle a fight between knights? Oh, a rap battle. You know them much better than I do. Usually, understanding and compromise are the foundation the for peace. <sighs> but I'm afraid not all are willing to try, and would rather antagonize one another indefinitely. It is written in the book of Matthew. Things are taking place that will lead our generation ah, to some other end. people. What would you do to keep people from fighting? Dear Lady Aliena, you're asking a blacksmith. You want I to provide fight. them the very tools to fight. War, combat, and killing are my trade. Hmm. I doubt that handing them weapons would do any good. Let's see. Um, ask the monks. How would you reconcile two people in disagreement? Play is something that brings people together. That is very true. We carry the French game of Fierge with us. Oh, could I borrow it? If you bring it back before nightfall, okay. I see no harm in it. The guy's French, it might will. help. Fierge, a French board game. Richard and I used to play it. Yeah, that'll work perfectly. Do you want to say something? Never. Here. Here's some fears. Now fight it out like real knights should. 
with a battle of wits. Playing a board game, uh, I don't know. You're scared I could win. Oh, let's begin. There we go. Now, let's start with a careful opening. Uh, agreed, be careful. Good choice. The general who gives in to anger will send his troops to their deaths. Exactly right, Ali. First, I'll focus on defense. Let's see what Alonso's got. Ooh. Well played. A classic opening move. Now's a good time to attack. No, go so. A slow, organized advance is better than a hasty attack. But you can't win if you entrench in open battle, Ali. And here I stride to victory. <laughs> uh. You reached the end of the board. What a crowning. I got a king. Hmm. You call this piece a king? In Spain, we call it a queen. She's quite powerful and has a mind of her own. All right, a queen then. Now I can sweep the entire board with her. Be wary. No, don't be hasty. The highest art of war is to break the enemy without a fight. Nonsense, I have to seize this advantage. I've got a queen on my side. Time to rampage. When the sovereign has been claimed, the game is almost decided. Oh, I could fight to the last piece. But a good commander has foresight, and I can see this game is lost. I admit defeat. Ah, oh, you ended this before it even began. Even a yeah, strategy you did three, <laughs> you did three rounds. This was about strategy, not showmanship. Huh. Uh, it seems like Lady Aliena is a valuable strategic advisor. This is a good start, but but you have a long way to go. You're always so critical. I understand that he's the tactician, and I endeavor to trust his instincts and experience to guide him. But you yourself are an exceptional diplomat and businesswoman, I hear. You complement each other in the way you think. I guess you're right. That's what I do. If you are wise enough to trust these queen's instincts in these matters, my friend, you too will indeed be able to take back the Eldom. You think we can do it? So, can I rely on your loyalty? <laughs> you can. Of course, we're brothers in arms. <laughs> Good. You have an important battle ahead of you. I'll bring you the money. All right. Why is the oh it the game's just having some weirdness uh, let's give him as much money as Philip here. Finally. I mean, thank you, Ali. This will cover decent equipment. That's what you need. Nothing exceptional, but it will do. <laughs> Just promise to be careful. I've learned a few tricks. I'll be fine. Must you really fight? What is all this good for? Absolutely nothing. For Gordon father, Hassan. Ali, I will save Shiring from Percy Hamley. But who is going to save you? With men like these, I'm afraid I'm already beyond saving. For victory! For victory! 
for victory. I see. I wish you the best of luck. Don't get decapitated. I'll be at the marketplace giving Philip his part of the money. And make more money, I hope. There's still money left, but it's not mine to keep. Okay, let's give Philip his money. Open your eyes. Here. Thank you. It should be enough to keep our workers around until I have solved our problems with Percy Hammond. Perfect. But Tom said that without stone and timber, we will have to stop construction in a month. We'll figure it out. You must speak to the Earl. Have you finished your business? Um. Yes. Yes. Glad to hear it. Oh. Philip, I now understand why our market at nope. Kings... I'm not letting that do the save. I forgot to return the board. I know, stupid of me, but I'm gonna do it. It's what I wanna do. Did I give him the money? Oh, I did. I don't have. Let's return them their their board game. Uh, I think it was the monks. You've done me a great favor. We are glad to hear it. Thank you for returning it. We always pass the time on our travels trying to best each other. Okay. That's what I wanted to make sure I got done. Open your eyes! The signs are all around us! Yeah. Okay, let's give him the money. Thank you. It should be enough to keep our workers around until I have solved That's our what problems I wanted to with do. Percy Hamlet. But Tom said that done. without stone and timber, we will have to stop construction in a month. You must speak to the Earl. Have you finished your business? I did. Yes. Glad to hear it. Philip, I now understand why our market at Kingsbridge has had more visitors lately. Shiring isn't what it used to be. Steep taxes and strict laws have taken their toll on the town. Is that so? These merchants would give anything to do their business at another fleece fair, but there's none nearby. They need a place with fair taxes, one that can put those taxes to good use. Mm. We turn our own Are you to thinking it? of a fleece fair in Kingsbridge? Call in the monk and the woman he's with. You, impatient monk. It's your turn. The girl, too. Me? What? Did you want me to come with you? No. We're not first in line, are we? Well, lucky you, then. Get moving. <clears throat> Philip of Gwyneth, prior of Kingsbridge. Yeah, that's obviously him. The Earl of Shiring. Thank you for hearing me, old Percy. Please allow me to introduce my friend, Aliena of Kingsbridge. I knew it was you. <gasps> Ha, 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 ha. 
Oh, it doesn't sound like you missed me. Of course I didn't. I demand to talk to the Earl of Shiring. He has broken his word. You are talking to the Earl of Shiring. Bishop Whaler. The enemies of this earldom have taken Percy Hamley from our midst. Mother! Oh, damn. Do you consider yourself a friend of the earldom of Shire, Philip? Friend? That damn monk is drinking the blood of my earldom! It is not for us to damn them, Lord William. But judge them we must. What you are doing to the people of Shiring is shameful. Your father would have done well to teach you respect. The monk's a thief and so are you. And I don't take as kindly to thieves as my father did. Shiring will change. <laughs> what Some crimes kicks ass. did we commit then? The king has never licensed a market in Kingsbridge. Your market is illegal, Philip. You are stealing my taxes by allowing my people to trade in your sorry priory, and you disrespect my authority! Is that true, Philip? I... I will talk to the king about this. You and your friends have always played by your own rules. But not anymore. Fracture for fracture, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. The days of King's toe for toe. Cathedral are over. Now leave. The next time I will show no mercy. <laughs> like you showed mercy right now. Okay, solve the sales conflict, split the money, return the board game. Uh, showed good skill as a merchant. Um, yeah, I think I did everything right. Three more chapters to this book.